Good day, artists. Oh, today we are going to be looking at this template for the optical illusion um, one point perspective interior. So uh, I've, already, I've already laid it all out. This should work out nicely. So just keep in mind, we're not gonna use the space in here. So ignore that little wedge right here. Okay, you don't have to scribble. I'm just showing you where the space we're not gonna use. Um, when we're finished, when the whole thing is, is designed and traced and colored and it looks beautiful, then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut on these dotted lines, fold on the other lines, and we're going to assemble it. So don't worry about that until the very end. So here's the thing that makes this different from a regular one point perspective interior. And that is that this, because of the way it's folded, in order for it to make sense visually, it has three vanishing points. Now, when you're starting out, uh, I have some other videos um, on in the classroom under one point perspective interiors, okay? They're going to, the rules are gonna be the same. It's just that your vanishing point kind of changes. So when you're doing everything here in the middle and on the sides, the vanishing point is here. It's the vanishing point in the middle of the back wall of the room, okay? When you do the floor on this example, right, you're gonna use the vanishing point up here. And if you're doing anything on the ceiling, you're gonna use the vanishing point down here, okay? And I'm gonna kind of show you how that works. So very, very quickly, because I've already gone through these on the other interior per, uh, one point perspective videos, okay? I'm gonna change things up a little bit. Um, on my example, I made mine look like uh, an art gallery. The one in the little video that uh, the little video short that shows you the optical illusion but you can make this look any way you want okay so i think i'm going to give this a try i'm a little um, curious to see how this translates um how this translates uh when we fold it up so just super quick right on this back wall when you make things like doorways uh or even posters or windows or whatever you're gonna make back there, um, our lines are pretty much straight, okay? Or vertical and horizontal. So the basic door frame looks, you know, we're looking at it almost straight on. So that's kind of what it looks like. However, because we're in the middle of the room, we're on the left side of the doorway, we can actually see a little bit of the inside of the door frame. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little just a little line like this. I'm not gonna have it touch the bottom or the top because I know what I'm about to do. And then because it changes directions, this wall is going this way, it changes directions to go this way, but then it changes directions again to make the inside here, which is why this is diagonal because it is, it's the same surface, right? They're the same plane. I need to get my math terms down so I'm saying it correctly, but, but the idea of it is that, here, I'll show you on the back. The wall, and I'm looking at it from, from above. The wall is going like this. The wall changes directions, and then that's the inside of the doorway frame right there, right? So this little piece right here matches, it's going the same way as this piece. Right, so if this piece is heading diagonally, right, then it changes directions and then it goes diagonally again. Okay, not too confusing. Here we go. So this little piece right here, because the top and the bottom on the back wall right here go to the vanishing point. Here we go, Oop. just like that. So we would be able to see some of the underside of the door frame some of the side of the door frame. We can't see that side because we're we're over here. We're looking at it from this way. All right. Now, uh, let's see. If we wanted to show, at this point, I mean, you can even just make the doorway. Don't worry about the inside. Um, and if you wanted to make yours like a haunted spooky room, right? You could make like a Scooby-Doo 
where are you kind of eyeballs in here and then color the whole thing dark like the eyeballs are looking out at you from the dark doorway right you've got all the options but if you wanted to make it look like like the you know the floor continues into the next room right if you do that then it kind of and and this is going to be interesting because i am not sure how this is going to translate when it is assembled right now if i just put those all the way to the doorway that would be fine it would make this look super duper super duper long so i'm going to stop this just gonna stop it right and then put a line here and a line here boom okay so now I have a doorway I can see into the next room I can see the wall the back wall the ceiling the floor okay and I know I can see those things because they line up with my vanishing point okay boom just like that all right, so there's a door. Uh, if you wanted to put something else on the back wall, again, with my ruler, I would be doing this, but uh, it would just be square or round. Maybe you wanna put a round mirror or something right there. You could put a round mirror and then put a reflection of yourself. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so uh, that stuff is pretty straightforward. This stuff is the stuff that starts to confuse people. So, ouch, let's go ahead and uh, make something on this wall right it could be a poster it could be a flat screen tv it could be a window it there, there's just a lot of things it could be so the first thing you're going to figure out is uh what does it look like from you know from the side um so that's how tall it's going to be from there the top and the bottom right uh everything follows you know, if it's not vertical, it's gonna follow the lines that go to the vanishing points, which means the top is going to come towards you like this. The bottom is gonna come towards you like so. <laughs> and then you're gonna figure out how far back into space it goes, trying to keep your lines parallel, right, to the sides. Boom, there you go. Now, if that's a poster, then that's a poster. And just a quick little aside, um, if you were gonna do letters on here, uh, and I think I showed this in one of the other videos, but the letters are also going to follow the vanishing point. So let's just say for instance, this was a poster and it was an art poster. Let me just go ahead and put one of those in the middle. Okay, so your letters, um, right? They're gonna remain vertical, but they're gonna follow, right, that T, oops, that T is gonna, the top of the T is gonna kind of boop, and that is what that's gonna look like. Boop. Right, kind of like that. So it's also, the lettering is also gonna kind of look like it's getting smaller as it goes into the distance. Now, let's just pretend this was a flat screen TV, right? So there's the front of the TV and we're gonna make a line like this because the flat screen sits up against the wall, right? Or that could be a canvas, okay? We can also make a picture frame. There, you know, there's lots of different ways to do this, but, right, let's just now pretend instead that it is a window, okay? So we have our basic shape that we started with, but we can see the inside of the window frame right here, just like we can kind of see the inside of the door. It's similar, but different. We still make a little line right in here, but instead of going diagonally to the vanishing point, because we're already on the side, we're gonna go, we're gonna make a little rectangle. Boop. Just like that. And then to the vanishing point, right? That is the windowsill on the inside, the windowsill on the top, okay? And then I'm just gonna finish up this. And basically a door on this side, you can watch the other video. It's gonna, it's gonna be exactly the same as this, except it's just gonna come down to the floor. Um, if you would like, uh, you know, little, little, little cross pieces, right? Then I usually like, here, we'll make a little line. Try to make it kind of um, equally spaced. 
and then you can take your doo -doo -doo, just like so and there we go so those right those are the little cross pieces on the window if you want to make the ones that come vertically those uh let's see i'm gonna go say right here and maybe right there maybe go a little closer right here because they're they're gonna look like they get a little smaller as they uh as they get closer to the vanishing point so i'm just gonna kind of there we go there's that one remember try to keep your ruler lined up so that it is neat and tidy and right so so there's your window you can make any kind of window then you can add curtains oh here's another fun thing though i saw somebody making curtains earlier if you add curtains okay they like here's the middle so like you, you have curtains here right they're also going to kind of follow that rule right this one's going to hit here that one's going to hit up here because of that vanishing point right so then you've got your little curtain poles right in your curtain all right whatever however you want to do it right maybe they're sheer curtains you can see right through them mm -hmm. oops there we go there we go so you know keep that in mind boom it's still gonna follow the rule all right so uh, i'm gonna make a second video we're gonna talk about the floor and the ceiling and these extra vanishing points